Do you know about O365 SMTP relay? How do you relay your scanner and your application email? Are you looking for a solution to relay your scanner and applications email using O365? Then this video is for you. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the upcoming videos notification. So let's start this video. So in this video, I'm going to tell you complete detail about Office 365 SMTP Relay. I will discuss and explain you each and everything about Office 365 SMTP Relay. Microsoft provide O365 SMTP Relay option and we have three options in O365 Relay. Number one, client submission. Number two, direct send. And number three, SMTP Relay. I will explain deeply all these three options. Number one, client submission. Devices and applications can connect directly to Microsoft 365 using the SMTP authentication client submission endpoint, which is smtp.office365.com. So basically, if you can see here, uh, you can enter smtp.office365.com in your scanner, in your application, in place of server and smart host. Port would be 587 or 25. TLS is mandatory and it should be enabled or supported by your devices or your application. For authentication, you have to enter a user mailbox credential. Regarding the TLS and encryption, as I've told you earlier, Determine what version of TLS your device support by checking the device guide or with the vendor. If your device or application doesn't support TLS 1.2 or above, then check direct send and other SMTP relay options. How SMTP client submissions work? So basically, it can directly connect to Office 365 servers and relay email to internal and external recipient and the authentication method method would be your mailbox your mailbox credential so let's see about features of smtp authentication client submission number one smtp authentication client submission allow you to send email to people in your organization and outside of your company number two this method bypass most of spam check for email sent to people in your organization. This bypass can help protect your company IP address from being blocked by a spam list. Number three, with this method, you can send email from any location or IP address, including your on-premise organization's network or a third-party cloud hosting services like Microsoft Azure and etc. Requirement for SMTP client submission. Authentication. So for authentication, we recommend using modern authentication. If the form of OAuth, otherwise you will need to use basic authentication, which is, which is simply a username and password to send email from the device or the application. Number two, mailbox. You must have a licensed Microsoft 365 mailbox to send email. Number three, transport layer. Your device must be able to use TLS version 1.2 or above. Number four, port. Port 587 recommended or port 25 is required and must be unblocked on your network, especially in your firewall. In some network firewalls or ISP block ports, especially port 25, because that's the port the email server used to send email. So you have to ensure that as well. In DNS, Use the DNS name smtp.office365.com. No need to add anything in your DNS, especially if you are going for client submission. Limitations of SMTP authentication. You can only send from one email address unless your device can store login credential for multiple Microsoft 365 mailboxes. If you're going with, it, with this option, so you can uh, create a, you can provision a dedicated mailbox for a particular application, for a particular uh, scanner or any, any other device. For a cost saving, you can go ahead with 
F1 license, which is just a browser based license, which is the cheapest license you can utilize that license to save cost as well. Number two, Microsoft 365 imposes some sending limits. You can see the exchange uh, online limit. Number two, direct send. You can choose this option when your environment has SMTP authentication disabled. Number two, SMTP client submission is not compatible with your business need or with your devices. You only need to send messages to recipient in your own organization who have mailboxes in both 365. Don't need to send email to the people outside of your organization. Scenario when direct send may be your best choice. Number one, you want your device or application to send from each user's email address and do not want each user's mailbox credential configured to use SMTP client submission. Direct send allow each user in your organization to send email using their own email address. Direct send allow you to send a higher value map messages compared to client submission. So here in a setting part, uh, you can use your MX record as in server or smart host. You can enter MX record uh, in your application or your scanner or your device. Port would be 25 by default. TLS is optional here. TLS is not mandatory. If your device or application support a TLS, then you can enable. Otherwise, you can uh, leave it, you know email address so you can enter any email address uh, which is added as an accepted domain in your uh, tenant in your environment so here no need to enter username and password for authentication purpose you can enter your email address scan and send email okay so here we have to add uh, uh, some value in spf record as well so in spf record you have to whitelist or you have to add all the public ips from where you are sending emails how direct send work you can send email using your scanner printer application using your mx record to your o365 and as as i told you earlier you can send email to only your internal recipient you cannot send email to any external recipient so this is this is you know one limit with this particular option okay so what is the requirement for direct send number one port 25 is required and must be unblocked on your network a static ip address is recommended so that can spf record can be created for your domain the spf record help avoid your messages being flagged as spam does not require a microsoft 365 mailbox with a license so what is the limitation with this direct send direct send can not be used to deliver email to external recipient for example recipient with your yahoo gmail or with your any partner your messages will be subject to anti-spam check send mail might be disrupted if your ip address are blocked by a spam list microsoft 365 and office 365 use the throttling policy to protect the performance of the services the last option which is smtp relay this option is more difficult or you can say a bit complicated to implement than other two options which we have discussed earlier only choose this option when your environment has smtp authentication disabled smtp client submission is not compatible you cannot use direct send smtp relay lets microsoft relay email on your behalf by using a connector that's configured with your public IP address or a TLS certificate. Setting up a connector makes this option more complicated. Basically, this is the setting for Office 365 SMTP relay. So you can enter server or host name as your MX record in, in your application. Port would be 25. TLS would, should be enabled. Your devices must be TLS supported. You can use any email address in one of your Microsoft 365 verified domain. 
Okay, so SMTP relay connector in O365. So to establish this type of you know SMTP relay connection with your application, your devices, you have to create a connector in O365. So basically, when you try to create a connector in O365, then you have two options. First one, you can create a connector based on a certificate or you can create a connector based on public IP. You have both the option, whatever is possible for you or whatever is suitable to your environment. Accordingly, you can create a connector. Okay, how the connector will work in this case. When you click on a new connector, you will get an option, your organization email server and two would be Microsoft 365. Domain restriction IP address range, you can enter the IP address range from where you are going to send email or you can choose option to relay email using certificate based authentication. We recommend adding a SPF record to avoid having messages flagged as a spam, which I have already told you. So here you can enter static IP address. Okay, so how does O365 SMTP relay works? So basically you can create a connector and that connector is going to establish a connection between your O365 and your on-premise device or your application using certificate or using IP address. Got it. And in this method, you can send email to your internal and in this method, you can send email to internal recipient as well as external recipient. Okay, so let's talk about feature of SMTP relay. Microsoft 365 relay doesn't require the use of a licensed Microsoft 365 or Office 365 mailbox to send email. Microsoft 365 relay has higher sending limit than SMTP client submission. Senders are not subject to the limit described in option one. So you can go through the uh, O365 limits for more details. Requirement for Microsoft 365 or Office 365 SMTP relay. Static IP address or address range. Most devices or application are unable to use a certificate for authentication. To authenticate your device or application, use one or more static IP address that are not shared with another organization. Connector. Set up a connector in Exchange Online for email sent from your device or application. Port would be 25, which must be enabled in your firewall. So let's talk about limitations of Microsoft 365 SMTP relay. Send mail can be disrupted if your IP address are blocked by spam houses. To avoid this, you can add your IP address in SPF record. Reasonable limits are imposed for sending. You can refer to Microsoft website for more details. You can get a link in a description. Require a static unshared IP address unless a certificate is used. Okay, so what is my observation basically in this uh, SMTP relay or O365 SMTP relay options? So number one, client submission. Basically, it requires a valid mailbox and credential to relay email. It is very simple and very easy method to utilize it. But in this case, you have to use credential or you must have a mailbox number two direct send it is also simple and easy but it requires dns entry and it can send email only to internal recipient it cannot send to external recipient number three smtp relay it is a bit complicated it requires a connector in o365 and a connector can be created for authentication using public IP or TLS certificate. By this connector, email can be sent to internal and external recipient. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get more upcoming such informative videos. If you have any question or concern regarding SMTP relay, please don't forget to comment in a comment section and we definitely try to answer you. So thanks for watching. See you in next video.